peoples! This is the first episode of Poetry with Anime Eyed Girl. I'm gonna read some poetry. And the funny thing is, I am not super poetry inclined. That's a thing. Yeah, so I don't get it. And it's beautiful and it's a form of art and that's fantastic. But I don't always understand things. And yeah, so this should be fun. Today's poem is... <laughs> Today's poem. How do you say that? Is it poem? Is it really poem? Like to yourself? For real? How would you say it? I used to call it. I thought it was a poem. A what? Poem. I don't know why. I always thought it was a poem. Okay, so today's. Today's poem. That's so weird. Today's poem. <laughs> Still wrong. Right? Just keep going. Today's poem. All right, hold on. <clears throat> Today's poem is "On the Stork Tower" by Wang Zilum. Is that right? Zihuum? Z no, that's wrong. Wang Zihuin. Z Huin. Yeah, that's right. Wang Z Huin. <laughs> now for the reading of the poem. The midday sun slips behind mountains. The yellow river turns for the sea, trying to see for a thousand miles. I climb one more story on the stork tower. It doesn't even rhyme. <laughs> I know, I know they don't all have to rhyme, but I'm always disappointed when they don't. All right, so my interpretation of this poem, poem, is well, it's called the Stork Tower, so I think it has something to do with babies. I think it's saying that the ocean brings forth babies. I don't know. Or let's see, the Stork Tower. Maybe it's just called a Stork Tower, and this person's going on a journey. Even the picture. I don't know if you guys can see. There's a picture. This guy is like walking on the shoreline. I think the tower is just called Stork Tower and this guy journeyed to go to Stork Tower. That's what I think about it. Well, that concludes Poetry with Anime Eyed Girl. If you guys enjoyed this, then follow me, like the video, and let me know that you wanna see more of it. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, you're always gonna get that weird reaction of me reading poetry.